Welcome to the 3-minute guide to fine-tuning your own LLMs using Unsloth AI. By the end, you will have a fully trained model running on Olama, all in your cozy Ubuntu setup using WSL. This is about making AI accessible so anyone can fine-tune models on their own dataset. Let's break this down. Step 1. Set up WSL like a hacker. Pop open PowerShell. Type WSL space dash dash install and bam, you are in the Linux environment. No virtual machines needed. Step 2. Install VS Code on Ubuntu. Download the Debian version of VS Code, pop it into your Windows download folder and install it through Ubuntu like a pro. You can use this code and you are all set. Step 3. Install Miniconda for Python package management. You will need Miniconda, which is a smaller version of Conda, to easily manage your Python environments. Here is a lightning fast version of the code. First, make a directory. Next, pull the installation file. Next, install the files and delete the installation file. Next, set it up for bash. Next, set it up for zsh and boom, you are set to rock some Python. Step 4. Setting up the environment for AI magic. Now let's create the environment for fine-tuning your models. First, create an environment called unsloth underscore env using conda and put in the associated libraries. Activate the environment using conda activate unsloth underscore env. Next, install the unsloth library. Next, install the other dependencies that are required. Now we are in business, ready for some fine tuning exercise. Here is the entire code. From Unsloth, we import the fast language model. These are all the models which are available in 4 bits for you to train. We are going to use Unsloth Llama 3 8 billion BNB 4 bit. Using the fast language model from pre trained, we set up the model and the tokenizer. Next, we set up the PEFT model for parameter efficient fine tuning. We are going to we are going to target these. The alpha is 16. Next, we set up this prompt alpaca prompt. We have the SQL prompt here, the SQL and the explanation here. We can see the output of the alpaca prompt here. Next, we set up this script to format this database. We load up this dataset. This is a wonderful dataset of synthetic text to SQL. I'll put in a link to the dataset and you can have a look. Once we load up the dataset, we map the formatting prompts function so that the dataset is ready and filtered. From TRL, we import SFT trainer. There are a host of parameters that you can tune. For example, max step is 60, learning rate 2e to the power minus 4, per device train batch size is 1, and gradient accumulation step is 2. We see the status of the GPU. My GPU is NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 laptop GPU with a maximum memory of 7.996 and 5.613 GB of memory is reserved. Next we start up the trainer using trainer.train and you can see the losses going down. Here is a summary of the training process. We free up the memory using this code. Next we try to save this model. So model.save pre-train merge merge model tokenizer and save method is merge 16 bit once we save this model we can now initiate the process to convert it into gguf from llama cpp so we install this library we do some adjustment of the llama cpp do some changes install the other required libraries and then we convert the llama cpp to gguf and this is the final gguf output text to sql underscore 8 dot gguf now we can use this gguf to convert it to olama so we install olama here then we create a model file which looks like this so from text to sql underscore 8 dot gguf we put a system prompt of you are an sql generator next we try to create the model using model file so olama create unsloth model 8 dash f model file the model is created and now you can use this model for inference. So you can go to Ubuntu and spin up the Olama. So on the Olama list, we can see that we have two models and you can just start up Olama using Olama run on sloth underscore model underscore eight. So this is going to start up Olama and your fine tune model and you're good to go. So that's how you fine tune your very own LLM with Unsloth AI and get it running on Olama. Super accessible, super powerful and it's all happening on your system. This is a short introduction. If you like a more detailed overview, please let me know in the comment section and I will be happy to make. 
Until then, have a nice day. Please watch the next video. Stay subscribed.